Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2018. We are watching live on Twitch. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, thank you so much for all the support that you've given me in this stream. And if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. So, now we are going to be featuring a Zorg Dustmain deck based on B-String, powering up Dustmains using Soul Galio Prism as well, and having Zorg GX in order to make sure that we get everything we might need at any given point. So, Zorg GX 210 HP, ability trade once during your turn before you attack, you discard a card and you draw two. Pretty straightforward, right? Righteous Beating, dealing 20 damage for every Pokemon you have in play, up to 150 with a choice band. And then we have Dustmane Necrozma GX. 190 HP, it's an Ultra Beast, which is very relevant to this deck. Um, Claw Slash deals 60 damage, Meteor Tempest deals 220 damage, and you discard 3 energy from this Pokemon. And then Sunset Clips GX deals 250 damage, and you can only use the attack if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. So, um, the reasoning behind this, and I'm just seeing that I don't have um, <laughs> Lodestone in this, so that's probably a mistake that I need to correct right now. Um, the reasoning behind using Dust Main Necrozma is so that we can use B String. We want to power up multiple Dust Mains with B String. Um, B String, if your opponent has three or four prize cards, that's the only time you can play this card. You search your deck for two basic energy cards and then you attach them to one of your Ultra Beasts. So, B String allows you to fully power up or to get close to fully powering up uh, Dust Main. We have a ton of energy in the deck. We don't have elixirs, but um, hopefully this is enough energy so that the energy attachments will be good enough. Um, the baby Mew could be good to copy to Gallo Prism's attack, yes. Um, I don't think it's worth it right now, but it could definitely be good. Um, Jack, that idea for the beast box actually sounds very decent. Um, so yeah. Uh, the whole idea is to use Beast String to power up multiple Dust Mains so that uh, no matter which one goes down, you're able to just get a ton of energy into play. And so we're gonna try to play as many Beast Strings as we can. Um, the card that's here is just Field Blower. There's three of them to make sure that um, Garbotoxin is not annoying us. Um, for support, we have the Soul Gallo Prism with its attack Radiant Star. Um, we can recover energy from the Discard Pile to power up our Pokemon. Um, attaches a metal energy for every of your opponent's Pokemon they have in play from the discard pile. Um, we have one Mew EX to be able to respond more easily to Buzzles. We have Triple Double LA for support in order to set up. And then supporter wise, we have Triple Cynthia, Triple Bridget, Triple Guzma, two and one Sigamore, and one Mallow. I feel like I'm gonna take out the one Cynthia, and I took out one Max Potion as well. As you guys saw, and I'm gonna add two float stones. Um, I definitely feel like float stone is very important here. Um, um, four draw, four puzzle of time, standard inclusions for uh, dust mini Krozma, one super to put energy back that we might have lost in order to make sure that our B strings get maximum output. And the beauty of this is we can actually puzzle of time for B string to even like we could potentially use eight. B strings, <laughs> which seems insane. We don't even have enough energy for eight B strings, but it's a possibility. Um, two float stones, as I mentioned, and then three DCs for Zorg, and it also helps with uh, Dust Mains Necrozma. If you manage to have a DC powered up, um, you can discard a DC and just one more energy to cover the three energy cost, um, and then nine basic metal energy. So um, yeah, B string with Zorg and Mallow seems pretty good. Like that immediately guarantees two B strings, right? Um, I don't want to discard the changes. I do want to save the deck. That's the idea behind this. Um, so yeah, I do have to mallow. Yeah, that's per that's on purpose. That is definitely on purpose. And okay, we're we're up against puzzle. So lots and lots of puzzle. Zorg. Dust main versus this is just gonna be puzzle like a rock, right? Probably, I would imagine. Okay. Mm 
yeah, I'm interested in seeing how this plays out as well. Uh, DC is also pretty good for claw slash pressure, especially if you go first. We're going second, so it's not... Um, so it's probably not uh, viable just yet, or in this particular match, especially since we're not gonna see a 60 HP basic again for my, from my opponent anytime soon. But it's not bad to start with this um, in order to have defense against Puzzle GX. Um, I put using the corner Rockruff as well. Um, oh, maybe I <laughs> I misspoke, but the two the two mallows are intended so that you can guarantee um, the B strings when you can actually use them. Um, because you do need four energy. It's not like Puzzle where you can just B string onto one and then be done with it you do need to play two B-strings in one turn probably to make this as effective as possible. Um, however, however, we do not have um, Bridget. So that's immediately gonna make our setup quite, um, quite awkward. And yeah, guys, apparently I miscounted. We are one sub away from, uh, from the new emoji. So <laughs> that's my bad. We are one sub away from the new um, from the new emoji, guys. Okay, so my opponent did hit elixir. I generally don't understand how people can fit elixir and no base string. Shirt one five six. Thank you so much. There we go. Immediately shirt comes through, and now we definitely have the fifty sub points. Thank you so so much. Thank you so much. Okay, this has been an incredible stream, guys. Thank you so much. 50 out of 50 sub points. Now, um, you guys get to choose uh, which do you want? A baby puzzle emoji or a seeking emoji? Whichever you guys prefer. And if you don't know um, what we're talking about when we say uh, seeking, um, you should try out the. You should watch yesterday's video. Um, you should definitely watch. Not yesterday's, today's video, sorry. You should watch today's video if you're watching live on Twitch. You should watch Monday's video if you're watching on YouTube so that you know what is up with um, with Seeking. But all of the chat is voting for Baby Buzz, so I definitely cannot deny you guys that. Okay. Um, we cannot Sun's Eclipse, pretty much. Uh, we can only do 60 damage. So yeah, our initial start is just looking super clunky. Okay, definitely Baby Buzz it's gonna be. <laughs> Definitely baby bus. So, what's the thing that babies have that they suck on um, when they're small? Chupon. Chupon, yeah. What's the name of Chupon in English? Pacifier. Pacifier, okay. So, I'm gonna try to get someone to. I'm gonna commission the emotes of a baby buzzle with a pacifier, okay? It's gonna be all swollen still, but yeah, pacifier. It's gonna be a puzzle with a pacifier. That's gonna be the new emoji for the channel. <laughs> what does the three next to your name mean, Rafa? Um, that means you are in third place in the in the bits donated in the channel. So Manchester is in first place with 550, J Dog is in second place with 500, and you are in third place with 302. So that's what the three means. It's like a third place. And KDC, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. You vote You vote for Seeking. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So we're going to see a Lycan Rock to get rid of another Zerua. Our hand is so bad that this probably doesn't matter. Um, and my opponent has had two clean Sycamores. My opponent has simply had two clean sycamores back to back in both turns whilst we are dead drawing. Oh, a dummy, okay. I had no idea. And there was like no casualties. She's just played the elixir, she hit clearly, she's deciding where it goes to. It's like, wow. Oh, <laughs> Rafa, there you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, now when you type, thank you so, so much. Now when you type, you'll see a number one. You will see that you are bits leader number one. Thank you so, so much, Rafa. Or Ruben, rather. Thank you so, so much. Very kind of you. Um, okay, I'll promote this Zerua because I have Floatstone. Ah, uh, yeah, we are...
definitely out of luck here. <laughs> Alec, thank you so much. Um, if my opponent gets a knockout on this, we will even miss the chance to be string. So we are in a lot of trouble, honestly. We are in a lot of trouble. Yeah, it, Zorak just feels really bad right now. I mean, our start was super slow and super clunky, right? We didn't bridge it, we didn't get a turn to Zorak, we didn't have a turn to Supporter, we didn't have Ultra Ball, we didn't have Lele. Um, so definitely not running well. Um, but despite that, like, we're attacking into a puzzle, which is really, really bad as well. We're just attacking into a puzzle, which is really bad. Oh well. And there's another Kuzma. Why wouldn't you promote the pseudo Wudo? So yeah, my opponent knocks us out here, and then he's one energy away from just knuckle impacting this guy. Yeah, we don't have a chance here. We're gonna lose this one. Buzzle is just ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> Buzzle is ridiculously strong. Um, I believe I did lose, like I was using Buzzle and my opponent ran super, super hot. And I did lose um, this particular match the other day. So, I mean, maybe this is simply not fair for the deck, but it's not looking very good either, is it? What are we gonna get after the Peace Ring? A medal. So it generally, yeah. We're done here. No point in wasting more time. And I mean, just compare how we ran to how my opponent ran. Uh, she got two clean Sycamores back to back. No Octillery, no Ranguru. You don't need that when you get clean Sycamores back to back. And she hadn't even played Peace Ring yet. Um, yeah, Zorak should drop. Sure, sure. <laughs> Zorak should drop and use big time. Big, big time. Okay, so I will get to go first this time around, which is nice. Uh, we mulligan. That would have been a pretty decent hand. Uh, we do mulligan, however. Okay. 50 sub points. Thank you guys so so much. Thank you so so much. I can't I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much Okay, this is a pretty good hand as well um, Especially because we have the Mew already So if we're up against Puzzle uh, We might be up against uh, Lunala Prism deck though. I mean that means we don't need Mew, which is fine Um Buzzle feel like standard haymaker. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, okay, so we are up against Malamar. Uh, either Ultra Necrozma or regular Necrozma, we shall see. And tomorrow we will be trying out um, Malamar with a regular Necrozma. For those of you who can make it to the stream, we will definitely be trying that out. Um, I'll put the energy here. And then I'll pass. I'm gonna lose a puzzle and I'm gonna lose a piece string, but that's why we play four for this um, early game instances where we just lose them. Um, yeah, so Ultra Necrozma just hits the numbers. Is Pokemon Fan Club the new Bridget? Probably. Probably. It's definitely weaker. Um, like, Dex might actually just switch to playing Nespols and not as many Tapu Leles. Um, that that's also an option, and then Ultra Necrozma Psychic decks will just play Mysterious Treasure. Um, you could play Dunsparce as well, yeah. I mean, I feel like them reprinting Dunsparce, and once Japan rotates to the Sun and Moon block, uh, which should happen after Worlds, the turn one rules might actually change. I feel like they're gonna let you um, attack on turn one again, but they won't let you play either supporters or item cards, or maybe both. But they might let you attack. I feel like 
the Dawnspurs reprint hints a little bit at that. Okay, so Ultra Necrozma, 1 in K. Yeah, like I generally feel uh, like it, like you guys are saying, Lily extra supporters and then Nest Bolts might be better than Pokemon Fan Club. I mean, the difference between one or two, I mean, two or three is not that much, right? Um, yeah, Ray, yeah, there was a time. Turn one rules have actually been very different throughout the years. Um, there have been years where you couldn't attack. Uh, there have been years like going first. There have been years where you wouldn't draw a card when you went first. There have been years where you wouldn't um, be able to attach an energy. No, maybe that's maybe I'm wrong on that one. But there's definitely been like quite a few variations on the rules, uh, on the turn one rules. Like the rules we have currently were made. Oh my god! <laughs> the rules we have currently were made to prevent dunks, but they're super outdated now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They just printed Feromosa. I don't know. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it's just something that I thought the Dunsparce reprint maybe hinted at a little bit. So is he an Ultra Ball? We see an Ultra Ball. What did my opponent discard? Oh, he just discarded. Field lower and N. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, they're not very good cards, are they? Okay. So another Lele. Yeah. I mean, but imagine if you couldn't play items. Yeah, I guess with Bottle, it's just too big of a risk with the dunk. Like, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe that won't happen until a long time. Oh, gosh. My opponent is gonna take a quick knockout here. What an incredibly bad hand. It's like we are a Zoark deck, right? We supposedly draw a lot of cards. We set up, but that's two out of two games where we're not able to hit a turn to Zoark. Just doesn't happen. Okay, so. I wish I had a TC. I wish I had kept that DC or attached it here. Um, we're gonna have to promote the Rua. And we, t <laughs> we just top deck another Mallow. If, if I Kuzma, I just completely. Yeah. This is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna put those two cards. There, there's no way my opponent waves a knockout, but there's also likely a chance that my Dustmate survives, right? My opponent would need Kuzma, Malamar, Choice Band, or Energy Attachment to knock Dustmate out. <laughs> Just your average man. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Thank you so much. <laughs> Vivillion with the ability turned to Scatterbug. <laughs> okay, there's a choice band. So now my opponent needs Malamar and Kuzma in order to win. That's all he needs. But we just see a Cynthia. Cool. We just see a Cynthia. That's good. So can Zorua survive? 
Not likely. Not likely. Alex, Team Polyswag, thank you so much for the raid. That's so kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Welcome to our stream. We're just out here suffering with Zorg. <laughs> we are out here suffering with Zorg, Dustman. Okay, so my opponent prepping ton wings. Uh, presumably, he didn't get a psychic, or he did. Never mind. He will activate B string, though, which is kind of good. Okay, so I know my top deck is Zorg. Correct? Yeah, so my top deck is Zork. Do I Mallow? No. Is my Dustman going to survive the Dunwings? Maybe. He needs a Choice Band, so this Choice Band was kind of wasted. I wish I could end this turn, but I don't think I can. Um, okay, I'm gonna trade to guarantee the thing <laughs> and then I'm gonna bridge it for this guy, this guy and this guy and then a very miserable piece string here so I don't want to use up my GX attack there's no point in me keeping the energy not at this time do you do that when you're down to four prizes but we'll see like a double b string next turn would be amazing but also an energy <laughs> okay 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 so can we pull this off i hope my opponent didn't leave here he he, he just needs to remote whatever right because this thing you have invasion yeah, that was a miserable B string. That generally was a miserable B string. The guy is in trouble. Yeah, I mean, he needs a choice then to get the knockout with the GX attack. Oh no, he can't knock out. Right. Because he's not losing. Oh. He's not losing. So he actually can't. Oh, but he just gets another Ultra Necrozma. Okay, I mean, my opponent needs a lot of cards to pull this off. A lot of cards. He generally needs maybe too many cards. This is gonna be an interesting turn though. This is gonna be a very interesting turn. <laughs> Like, he might choose to retreat into Malamar. So that doesn't feel good. There's another Ultra Necrozma. Okay. Let's close out the stream with a win. This will be the last game, guys, of this stream. And we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be tight. Oh, there's a Floatstone. And the Sycamore. What? Come on. Now my opponent needs either the Beast Energy or another Choice Band. Beast Energy or another Choice Band does it for him. Right? So, Gumi Gamer, you usually want to keep the energy. Like, If I use my GX attack here and I lose the dust main, then um, I just used up my GX attack for nothing. And if I and yeah, Lele's damage output is also relevant. But if I survive, I still have my GX for later on to maybe seal off a match. Whilst I now have access to double B string potentially. So so that's my reasoning. That is definitely my reasoning. Who does he retreat into though? This is interesting. Into Lele, okay. Into Lele. So, 
Okay, this is pretty good. I can triple B-string. <laughs> I can actually triple B-string here. So I'm gonna mallow for puzzle and B-string. No, puzzle and energy. Hello, Henry. Hola, Henry. Okay, so then we trade the dust main. And then I shall. How do we go about doing this? I have access to double B string here, guys. Double B string. So we have knockout on the Lele, right? With the energy I just grabbed. And. I could also use Solgaleo Prism. Like basically, if my opponent doesn't have Kuzma next turn, he would lose. Um, not yet, we haven't won yet. We definitely haven't won yet. Because we're gonna be in the lead here, right? So we won't be able to attack. generally confused as to what to do. If I take the lead here, I discard 3 energy and then I can't use my GX attack so I'm gonna be 1 energy short. I need the extra energy. I can't afford. I can't afford to do this. I just have to hope my opponent doesn't have Kuzma. I couldn't do it that way. I should run more energies. I'm already running 9 basic metal though. Let's just attach both. Um, I do have. I don't have choice for anything. Yeah, I think this is the correct play. Definitely think this is the correct play. We might still lose, honestly. We generally might still lose. But if, like, this is what would have happened. I attacked into a Lele, he goes down to two prizes, and then he has Ultra Necrozma, he knocks me out, and then I have a Dustmane with two energy. Oh, Dunwings is weak to dark. That's how I could have taken my last two prizes. That's right. That's actually right. Yeah. How was Utah? Um, Utah was not great. <laughs> Utah was uh, not good for us. Um, yeah, I could have saved the floatstone. Okay, that super odd probably means my opponent's not gonna Kuzma here. Yeah, I, I generally, I completely forgot that Bond Wings is weak to dark. Completely forgot that Dawn Wings is weak to dark. Okay, there's a Sycamore, that's fine. There's no way he's gonna attack into this whole Galio, right? Mr. Rubin, thank you so much. Thank you so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime subscription in my channel. Thank you so, so much. Now we have 51 subscribers, guys, which means um, we are now over the threshold that we needed. And um, yeah, we're pretty good here. Thank you so much. And hello, Pokemon and wife. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh, wow. Is my opponent actually going to attack into his old Galio? What? Why would you ever do that? This seems like the worst possible play. Because now my GX is activated and I can end him. Okay, we got this. We definitely got this one. We definitely got this one. So I'm going to end first um, before trading. It is our last end. So good thing. Oh, it's our, our only end rather. The other one is priced. So we're going to end my point down to three price cards. We are completely okay with this situation. Um, I'm going to keep the Kuzma. I'm gonna trade away one Ultra Ball. 
Yeah, alternate group map. That was my. That was my. Um, that was my experience with the deck. Like, it seems good, but it also feels super, super clunky. The most impactful card is a tie between B string and. Um, it's a tie between B string and. Um, what's the name of the card? B string and Baby Buzzle. I think those two are um, the two best cards from the set. Um, so yeah, now I choose to use my GX attack because now imagine this: if I if I didn't have my GX attack from before, um, I would have had to meet your Tempest here. And then if my opponent has Guzma knock out on this Dust main, I am in a lot of trouble because then how do I take my last two prizes? I mean, I guess I have Guzma DC on the Dunwings, but um, it's not very clear, you know. So um, yeah, that's that's a wrap. That's pretty good. Um, we managed to beat uh, one of the two top, presumably top decks in the format. We also lost to Buzzle pretty badly um, with a very under the under average start. And Henry, thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you guys so much. Wow, there's been so many new subscribers today. Thank you so, so much, guys. Here's the list. Um, here is the list that we were using just now. Um, maybe I need evil sodas here. Maybe the max potion is just uh, too much. Um, maybe we have too many energy. I don't know. Um, the deck felt a little bit clunky. I, I, I don't need Zoark, but then how do you reliably? Um, how do you reliably get things? Um, I can't do another match, Alex, unfortunately, because I do have um, some things to do and then I have coaching, but I will be back here tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I will be back here tomorrow. Trust me, guys. I wish I could stream for another five hours, um, but I do have other things I need to get done. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much. Um, I really appreciate the support and I will be back. I will be back tomorrow uh, with our usual time in the morning. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for all the support in the stream. It's been amazing. You guys have been uh, treating me so nicely lately. So, well, always rather. So thank you guys so much. I will be passing on the love to someone else. Let's see who else is streaming. Um, I will be passing on the love to Squeaks. And yeah, Max Potion is probably too niche. And later, Pokemon and Wife. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, now let's pass on the love to Purple Cliff. Thank you guys so, so much. What's the time right now? It's 7.30 p.m. Tomorrow, I will probably be streaming at around uh, 12. So noon CST time. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.